that. I have no rebuttal for I that. I said that to her face. Yeah, Leandro was like, everyone's I will, face. I will fuck my sister-in-law <laughs> over that. Selena Gomez <laughs> any day of the week. And I was like, fuck yeah, you I would. best friends yep Hello. We lost it all no. nothing, nothing lasts, lasts forever sorry can't be perfect now it's just too, just too late and I'm we waiting can't for you go to say the lyrics because be welcome back. Hug your sisters and kiss, kiss your, your mothers. Brothers. It's another episode of Significant brothers. brothers. Do we have like a, you know how Son of a Boy Dad like does Hello Amigo, uh, what's it called? Bonjour Amigos. Mm -hmm. How does his dad? What? He's a boy. Son of a boy dad? Uh, the guy's 33 and the other guy's 21. He had him young. What the fuck? At 14? Yeah. Oh, shit. That's a good pod. It That's is. damn near us. What? Wait, what's what? <laughs> we're, I'm five years older than you. What's what? <laughs> <laughs> I forgot the years. Wait, so what are you saying? There, do we have a... Yeah, do we have like <clears throat> something that our fans would catch up to us with and be like, you know, our slogan? Hug your sisters. No, because that's too long. Yeah, we, we need to come up with hug your sisters. Uh, we need to come up with a new slogan. How oh about if you no, see us you know what it would be? It would say, be like you feel me. Oh, you feel me. Yeah, we are. You feel me. You We're the number me. one. You feel me pod. The number hey, one pod. Hey, Leandro, you feel. you feel me? I feel you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. From from now on, our fan will say <laughs> you feel me. What I dude, I wanted the running timer. Why? Because I, now it just restarted in the middle of like a three minute rant. I will say though. Oh, you're right. It was at 18 minutes. I will say though that um, <laughs> cool, what's minutes. it called? Kev Kevin's a pretty consistent commenter on our videos as well. Yes. In addition to Kevin, Sally. Kevin, if you're watching this video, say you feel me. You feel me. Ooh. You feel me. We could send Kevin. Uh, Which Kevin? Uh, I don't know, but we'll send that other Kevin. Uh, significant brother's rat tail hair clip. So you just clip it right there, and it gives you a rat tail. Swing it around. Is that the right? You're cabin? obviously privy to the whole Selena Gomez, Haley Bieber debacle that took place four months ago. If you're listening to this, <laughs> yes, I am. Um, so it started uh, kind of a conversation that Amongst evolved into evolved. epic proportions. It was the only time me and Lor Le Lorenzo over here. <laughs> <laughs> Lorenzo. Typical, typical Lorenzo. It was the only time me and Lorenzo were ever steadfast in complete. Yeah, we were back to utter back, agreement. Yeah, not surrounded. We were not moving. Yeah, <laughs> we were fucking Chris Tucker and Jackie Chan <laughs> in <laughs> Rush Hour Two when he's in the rub, the rub and tug. Or in, or in that. Uh, oh yeah, you're right. Or in uh, the Eiffel you Tower. You go this way, I go that way. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, we're yeah, just yeah. Fucking <laughs> punching family members in the face with our facts. <laughs> and then we're screaming at them, do you understand the single word coming out of my mouth? <laughs> they definitely fucking did it. And then we were appropriating Asian culture by squinting our eyes in an unfair fashion. Exactly. Only Leandra was. I was not. I was pretending to be black. Oh, I, I, had to I had blackface on. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wouldn't do anything so heinous. If I had been there, I could have taken the pressure off of you exactly. of cultural appropriation. Exactly. So, you would have been closer to an even split. So, we're sitting there and the conversation starts to evolve because I basically alluded to the fact that it, Haley Bieber was prettier than Selena because, and hear me out, Jack. Mm -hmm. When you are born a certain... So, they all, they all kept saying... What were they saying about a medical? Oh, it's not her fault. Whose fault? Oh, that Selena, Selena that she put lupus, on weight. That she has lupus. And I that think. it's just something that happened to her. Uh -huh. And my counter argument was, is my ugly face not something that just happened to me genetically? Mm. Yeah. And yes, yet all of civilization can judge my face and say, you are not as handsome as Chris Hemsworth. Yes. If, Fair. If Brad Pitt became Elephant Man tomorrow, yeah. no one's going to be he like, boils all he's over still as beautiful. Correct. Exactly. So this is where, that's where it started, right? Mm-hmm. And then it evolved into, well, I don't think this person's that pretty. Or, so the girls just got wrapped up into 
this versus that anyway. And I said, at the end of the day, fuck the lupus before the lupus at Selena Gomez's fucking prime. <laughs> She's a dime a dozen in I her prime. School. Haley Bieber is still over that. Fuck the this fairly debatable, but you did say she's a dime a dozen at Passaic High School, and I kind of think she is. Who? Selena Gomez? Yeah. 100%. I've seen. She's just a baddie from Passaic. I've seen women. A good baddie. From don't get Pisek, me wrong. Hotter than her. I'm going to approach it, and I'm going to get turned down. <laughs> How old is she? What? How old is she? Selena? Yeah. 27? She's probably your age. Oh, shit. She looks way older. <laughs> oh shit, she looks horrible for her age. Must be the lupus. Um, Can't blame her. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> we're, we're getting canceled like we're three months later. Oh, well, come on. Soon. Especially with uh, Ariana Grande nowadays. She went on. The, we'll talk later about this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, our Lord and Queen gets brought up in the conversation. Who? Paige Sporanic. Oh, yeah. So, I start mm. showing. <clears throat> her that yeah. and them that mm -hmm. because they were touting Selena. They definitely, as, they were definitely like she's not even that as pretty. the queen bee. They said as the queen bee. They said, and I'm not saying she's a beautiful woman. She is far and away up there. Who? Spranic. Spranic. On her worst it's day, always debatable. Spranic. It's is always a, debatable who's the hottest and baddest chick around, right? You like dark hair. You like the words uttered out of Natalie's mouth. Amanda's mouth and Kayla echoed the sentiment is that she's a dime a dozen in New York City that she looks like every other New York City girl. The no. worst and, photo, remember, they picked the and, worst photo of her. And there was no worst photo, so I don't even no, no, know. Like, and her worst photo, They said there was girls at Lynnhurst High School that looked exactly like her. And oh. then they bring up this fucking demonoid <laughs> that looks not... What were they like? Demon. They were like... Jessica Cavallo looks exactly like that. I pull up her profile. Jessica Cavallo had a slanted eye fucking this way, the side of the he Passaic loves River. Name dropping. <laughs> she, he just called her that, that fucking monster Demonoid. from the Goonies. <laughs> her eye was yeah. down here. Yeah. And shit. Uh, women are so... She was eating fucking... So this uh, was my argument with Selena roots. Gomez. Hold on. I know I'm ranting. I know this is a long monologue. <laughs> they want to tout out uglier women... I'm, I'm going full Tate. They want to tout out uglier women as the standard of hotness because they are closer as a 10. in their looks to Selena Gomez than they are to Paige Spranick. So if Selena Gomez becomes the standard of beauty, then they can all say they're, that they're that. very hot. Comparable. Uh, comparable. And but my it, wife, hold on. My wife is gorgeous. More I than Selena Gomez. I, yeah, without personally, a doubt, I agree. without a doubt, and they couldn't even. And I they said had that, no rebuttal. For I that. said that to her face. Yeah, Leandro was like everyone's I will, face. I will fuck my sister-in-law <laughs> over that. Selena Gomez <laughs> any day of the week. And I was like, "Fuck yeah, you." Out of respect for <laughs> you, yeah, I brother. would. Yeah, but yeah, right. If it was a parallel universe, wipe that cunt, <laughs> Hunter. Um, <laughs> wait, so oh, here's I have a couple. Of notes any on this. day, you, you guys have been screaming. I'll give you a break for okay. a second. <laughs> this um, is hot. Oh, <laughs> and, so and before I. you say that, remember it all started with me wanting to have a rock hard bod for Monta. I didn't know where you were going with that. Oh yeah, and rock then they tried cock. to they tried to make this whole scenario that guys with good bodies are, are not hot. Are are not hot. We're talking uh, about Ryan. They work too I'm hard on themselves. I'm so Whoa. sexy. Oh, that's what I fucking said. Listen, that I'm sexy, bro. Well, no, me. Ryan Gosling. <laughs> Debatably a handsome dude to me, at least, right? What's that fucking movie good. where he's chiseled? Blue crazy Stupid Love. Crazy. Everyone loves the scene when he takes off his shirt. Hey, he's chiseled. In Crazy Stupid Love, chiseled as as the strongest he's ever been. They they of course said that's a handsome dude, right? There was a fucking other uh, role he did where he gained at least sixty to seventy pounds. I'm talking about the worst this man has ever looked. They said he is. Unchanged, meaning his his number is still the same hotness. They said they want that more. They were so caught up than the muscular one. They were so caught up one. in their fucking lives. I'm gonna show you this. <laughs> Fuck this. All right. Why are why are looking it up? Oh, and then they tried to bring up Big Cat. So I have, they were like, "Oh, Big Cat's hot." I have a couple things. Ready? <sighs> Sorry, Dan. Oh, you're very good looking. But to say that, like, holy shit, Pace Brannick is a dime a dozen in New York City. All the women in New York City look like Frankie Muniz, like. <laughs> <laughs> like they're just they're like cigaretted out and like they just wear there's a lot of beautiful women there's in New a lot York of City. beautiful women yeah but to say she's pounds, a, dime a dime a dozen, dozen. And like, I literally said if Spade Sporanic walks in a room every single g 
That was my argument with Haley Bieber. Haley Bieber will turn a room. She walks in in your house party. If you don't know she's Haley, because they were like, you're only saying this because she Haley Haley Bieber. No. no. If she's your fucking friend wearing the pirate costume, everyone's gonna be like, who the fuck is the girl wearing the pirate costume? So here's the thing. I've, I've had I've had the theory that I think any celebrity that you the know is a celebrity is, is going to look hot because I've I've used the example of the time that I went to the the Tonight Show taping. And Sarah and Jimmy Fallon just <coughs> did it for you. Yeah, he rock hard. Um, no, Sarah Bareilles was the guest, the the musical guest on the show, and she's not like she's pretty, but she's not the most beautiful woman on the planet. When she walked past me, I was like, that might be the hottest one I've ever seen, just because she had that like celebrity famous air about her. This is my thing. If so, if you were at a bar, yeah, there's thousands of women. If Selena Gomez makes eye contact with you, you're not gonna do a double take. That doesn't even look like what the fuck, man, handsome dude. The, and what's crazy is this beard is covering a, a double chin. That looks like Haley Joel. Whoa, 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 we don't shame guys who wear yeah. beards for double chin. No, but yeah. don't think yeah. that it looks like this. <laughs> Show your fucking face, Leandro. This guy's hot. No, but what? <laughs> I, yeah, right. Yeah, definitely I'll second, the one. I'll that, one, hot. that one. That one. That but one. What I'm saying is below this beard is not that jawline. Right, let's lower there. Okay. Yeah. Let's. Yeah. Because because deep breath. We've been screaming into a mic for eight minutes. I feel like Rush Limbaugh. <laughs> All I'm saying. <laughs> The frogs are gay. <laughs> <laughs> that, right? looks, that looks like Haley Joel Osment. If so, how tall is Selena Gomez? Four foot five? <laughs> You're not even going to see her that at a fucking bar. E Wait, we're not mad about this anymore. We're mad about the Paige Spranick. She's hot. <laughs> Bro, if you saw her at the golf Oh, fucking I would rage? blow your mind. Bro, I would blow my nut. I think I would just like stand Jack, in front of her and jerk off. interject some common sense into God, the women bro. that could possibly be listening to And the that's the thing. Ladies, as ladies, men, ladies. As men, we have no problem pointing out a hot dude. I agree. That oh. was the other argument. That's I know we, 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 love, we love doing that. We are <laughs> not. my favorite thing. I fuck them. <laughs> that's what I'd say. Yeah. Girls, uh, she's a dime a dozen. Then the troll in the corner. Oh, she's so hot. Her personality must be the shit. Fuck a personality, Do you huh? agree with what I'm saying, that they have to prop up the uglier standard of beauty so they feel better about themselves? It's an insecurity thing. I think, yeah. Well, I, I think, too, that, like... We're so canceled. Girls, <laughs> I feel like girls just don't like admitting that other girls are... And you, But what like insecurity anything? could Kayla have No, but over, remember... But they like... It's they like, also that Because they I think Kayla's very used to being one of the hotter per people in a room. Uh, compared to Selena Gomez, she still is. And so Paige Spranick would be a tough... Paige Spranick is, is, is... My is wife's beautiful. ...fallen from uh, the ground. Right, My wife's number one. She's the best. But one A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-
Pete Davidson's the one that I don't understand. We're not going to shame hair transplants. Oh, I'm getting one the second I can afford it. <laughs> we get, we're, this is $2,000? This episode... <laughs> This episode and this podcast is not about shaming. Print that on my forehead. We would never do that. Pete, Pete Davidson's the one that I don't understand. Like he's not. He's all personality. You take away. You take away the. Yeah. He has to be dicking these bitches down. Come on, dude. The argument. Models get bad dick. Facts. Kayla said. So when I lost all that weight. What weight? She. Uh, what? Where was she fat ever? No, you? Me. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, I remember. I know that. what you're talking about. Because I, I kind of just tongue tied her. I was like, so you liked me better when I was a slob. Versus, I want to be fat shamed. I just don't understand it. I'm working towards something. I want you to shame me until I reach it. Don't fucking tell me that the fat version of me is okay. Because I think the ripped version of me is summarize the episode. Um, Well, I had a moment where somebody that I work with, what I I might not be able to talk about this actually. What are you talking about? I'll tell you off camera, but um, (laughs) that's a good podcast. No, I actually like. No, I know. Cannot I know. talk about at this. your accounting firm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. At the yeah, that my at your my uh, coworker. I, Colf, I work at Whole Foods, okay. um, accounting division. So to summarize the episode, women don't like finding other women attractive. Leandro would fuck a dude, and Abby was once fat. It's twenty twenty three, baby. What do you mean once? It's been like twenty twenty three times over the past two years. <laughs> Bud Light is lesbian. You have a Abby was eighth times fat. <laughs> Close this out. Would you consider yourself the Spanish version of Fat Albert? A A A.